We're in the wind down of Hartford Comic Con today, and I'm cosplaying as Linkara. That's unique because I haven't seen many cosplayers dressed up as YouTube characters. Cool costume, I like it. We still did some things. Yeah. We did great things. Yeah, yeah. You got some. Yes. Well, yeah, actually, I got some good news I want to share with you, but I want to let Jay finish first. Well, yeah. after, you know, he got all some, he got some gifts. We walked around, took some photos. We're just okay. We expect all these things to come. Yeah. Played some rampage. Yesterday was as high as it could get. Yeah, it was at its highest points. It's all about great things. But the only difference is, Connecticut usually gives us the blues because Connecticut is so much bigger. As we as we said in the first update, it has layer after layer after layer <laughs> of people. And you can't do that much here. I mean, there's like the dealer's room is in the same area as the panels. The panels are in the same room or in multiple rooms. Well, actually, the panel room is just one big room that just broke down into sections. It's like walk into one big line of panels, and then when you get to the end, it's like, that's it. That's mm -hmm. it. It just feels like one big basement. Just one big basement. You walk around. Don't and get us wrong. I mean, we had fun. It, it's not DashCon bad. Rosvia told us about DashCon, and he, he didn't compare this to DashCon. So we had a great experience. Yeah, we just had a good time. We just played some comic, and we just saw some comic dealers, and we played some Rampage and some classic um, retro games. We played some old school games. We saw some comic stuff. We looked at this like, wow, it's still there. Some comics even came in complete editions. They were how thick were they? This much. I thought they were like this much. I know they were going from twenty to fifty. Yeah, between there, nothing was ten dollars. It was twenty to fifty, but they looked really good. That's the only reason I will say, okay, maybe if you have money, you can buy it. But if you don't, why would you? Now, how about those gifts? Oh, good news. This is gonna blow your mind. Oh, yes. The blue minds. Now, I've done a lot of cool stuff, but I've never done anything like this before. You see, not this. These comics, I'm gonna be reviewing them. And I talked to the guys who created them. I asked them for permission, and they said yes. So the first one I'm gonna review is Mania the Ship. I'm not going to get into too much detail about it. I'd rather save that for a different video. But this is interesting. And the reason why I'm excited about this, for one reason, tell them about it, guys. It's located in Hartford, Connecticut. It's based in Hartford. When the guy said, oh yeah, it's a comic based in Hartford, I said, really? Is, can I do a review and maybe we can work something out? He said, yeah, sure. Both of them did. You can't really see right now, they're autographed. Sick. That one right there and that there. These are signed. I got them for free. I mean, I feel good. It's very similar to when Jay did an interview with this Oil paint, oil, oil painter. Yes, oil that paint. paints for marble. And he gave him two free photos. Signature. Mm -hmm. And a, a paper copy of the collage of superheroes from Marvel, DC, and what's the other one? Indies. There were a lot of indies. I saw Mickey Mouse. Or Mickey Mouse. Well, yeah. actually, Mickey Mouse is part of the Marvel Universe now. It was the black and white Mickey. Who else did you see that we missed? You saw a lot of characters. I think I saw Super, Supergirl, I saw Swamp Thing, some of the X-Men. They couldn't split the spawn for some weird reason, or Marvel Universe. Yeah. Yeah. Man, we're Spawn. Yeah, we're in Spawn. Yeah, Spawn is awesome. Or like the Young Bloods, or Deadpool. I did not see Deadpool. Jay actually got the smaller version of the banner. Which he will be posting on his Instagram. Find the link, I will be posting it below. And Rosvio, did you get anything for mm, I only got some beads yesterday. Well, we all got something out of this. It's a great experience. Got to meet some great people. What else? 
Rhode Island and Con Con was one that I've heard from everybody that we've talked to that it's bigger than this con that we just went to. Probably and once to go, probably might not. If I'm we interested go, in going. Yeah, I'm interested in going. It's just the expense that I have to think about. And obviously, I'll be doing a Snapchat on my Snapchat. We're not going to say too much about the after party now because we got to go. But the final update, which will be Hartford Comic Con 2015. Oh, 2016. 2016. Is it after party? Yes. Or, or is it after party slash late night madness? And we have. I'm not going into details. I'm not saying our stories are so detailed. We can't even describe to you. We have to sit down and we just have to tell you our experience. Going past that, the second day was good. I recommend it for anyone who wants to cosplay, who wants to branch out, really wants to get into the art. What's your advice, Rafael, for up starting cosplayers who are insecure or scared of being in uh, Pick a character that you like and just dress up as the character, regardless of what people think. As long as it makes you happy, that's all that matters. And that is our second update. The final update will leave you speechless because we were speechless. But it will leave you laughing because it wasn't all that bad. It was exciting. See you.